Uh, <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day, I must say. Hello, everybody. Uh, Ian Malcolm here. Chaotician, you may know. Y I know, I know. You all know me already. And today, I'm going to be doing an, something chaotic. An unboxing of a savage creature. And, well, I mean, dinosaurs are in our world now, so, well... Might as well join the trend because today we're doing a big unboxing. I'm back, and no, no, it's actually me. Just cosplaying as Ian. Just, just to, didn't want to fool you. Oh. oh, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. And also, I, I'd love to keep this on for the unboxing, but it's not very flexible in this position. And also, it's like almost 30 degrees I think outside still. So hello everybody and welcome to an unboxing video. We are back. It's been uh quite a while. Let's let's just go with that. I don't know the exact date or any of that stuff, but today is a special day because we are doing probably the biggest unboxing w w we will ever do. And no, I don't mean like we're unboxing like a hundred things all in one video. No. Well, that would probably be the biggest video ever. Today, we are doing the one of the biggest dinosaurs for toy-wise. And with Jurassic World Dominion, well, with Mattel's line in general, we have had super colossals throughout all of the waves. Like we've had in Fallen Kingdom's line, we had these amazing reveal of the super colossal T-Rex, which shattered people's expectations for its amazing sculpt pretty decent paint job for its time at least and excellent quality for you know being a big statue basically then we had another t-rex if i'm not mistaken then we had things like the indominus rex we had the carnotaurus toro we had even blue i think had one and i think that's it other than maybe probably there's another t-rex one i don't know because t-rex just has like a lot of things but with jurassic world dominion they stepped it up. We didn't just get one. We didn't even get two. No. We got three. Three trifecta. We got the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Giganotosaurus, and a surprise one for many, the Atrociraptor Ghost specifically. Not the other three. They, they weren't worthy enough. But which one are we unboxing for the Dominion ones? Is it the iconic legendary T-Rex to join the roster of T-Rexes that we have here? Or are we doing the fierce enemy of T-Rex according to this franchise? The Giganotosaurus, the first Giganotosaurus toy we have for the franchise. Well, apart from you, mister, but you're not Mattel. And this is Mattel video, so you, you get to watch. Or are we doing the Savage Atrociraptor, the surprise one? Ooh, which one could it be? Well, you, you guys already know. It's uh, it's uh, it's the one that's on the bloody thumbnail. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like everybody's like, just get on with the video, man. But anyway, we're going to be doing the one, the only. I got it. Can you even see me? Hi. Well. I, I, I can feel the reverb of my voice, so I'm just gonna slide this way. God, I wasn't... I, I've had this for a while, but every time I put it, like, here, here on the table, and like, or it's right by me at this height, I feel so tiny. Now I know why people love these things, apparently, because, like, never was really a fan of the Super Colossus, to be honest, but, I mean, this was one that was, like one that I really wanted, simply because it is an Atrociraptor, which unfortunately with the way toys work these days, smaller dino- at least in dinosaur community, smaller dinosaurs usually get the um, least attention, at least compared to something like the T-Rex here, which is like the best one here of all of the ones I have, with maybe the Therizinosaurus, but that's a big one too. And if you compare like, I mean, Morus Intrepidus, a small one that's not scaled correctly and looks nothing like it, and even though there is a wave, another version that's coming out that has the colors more matching, it still isn't even right because the sculpture is completely wrong. But you know what I mean, the small guys usually don't get the biggest um, of quality terms. Uh, why can't the measurement be on the side? I gotta- oh wait, it is. It's over here. Let me just slide you over here. Yay, it didn't make a screech sound. This guy is only 36 plus inches, which 
I mean, it's still huge, but it's not as big as, like, others. I've, like, the biggest one, if I recall, was the Indominus Rex at 39. It might be actually bigger than the, than the Carnotaurus, but who knows. But anyway, let's look at the box, which, god, why is this thing so big? I can't see. Ugh. Well, anyway, it's got the gorgeous Dominion box art, which, from the looks of it, I might be able to actually keep this one. If I can get him out of the box, that is. But it shows the fr front half of him with the other half hidden behind, which is very um, Jurassic proper for these kinds of boxes. I think they've done it like that with every single one. Very similar to the Mosasaurus, though unfortunately not like the Mosasaurus. Well, s for some people, it doesn't show the rest of the body like the Mosasaurus box art usually does. But I still like it. I love the like the detail on this guy is awesome. But anyway, let's, um, well, I I'll cut back because I need to slam this on the table and he will be free. Didn't work. Ah, oh, fine, fine. If that's not going to work, I'm going to use the most dangerous tactic. I'm going to snap him open and hopefully not take half the universe out by accident again. Because, well, I mean... Not at all. I, I've never done that. I, pr I promise. But, I mean, oh, the power! And, uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, well I don't, I, I think we got it out, but fat load of hope this thing is. I was expecting it to also, like, you know, put the piece together. Well, screw you, gauntlet. First leg on here. Good God. I feel like a tiny kid. Like, I'm... I'm a tall guy now. Like, I'm no longer a short little guy, but even I feel tiny now. And let's just, oh my god. I feel really tiny now. Like, I've never felt intimidated by a toy, but this one might win. But let's fix the wrist. Although technically, wouldn't it be like, it's more accurate like this because it, it it does have proper wrist pronation in the movie. Weird, weird that they changed that. But here we have the giant. I'm like, ugh. Like, look at this thing. Like, like, okay, okay, that is nightmares. Like, oh my god, that mouth opens way more than I thought. Like, like oh my god, guys. Like, this thing is huge. Like. It, it's so strange, like, I see them with people in videos, like, I remember the Game Beaver when he unboxed the first Super Colossal T-Rex. It, it didn't prepare me for this at all, like, just look at the detail for one, like, I mean, let's just close that mouth again, like, the way it has those little, um, scales that sort of protrude outwards on the chin here, even on, like, the wrist. Like, it doesn't, ha it has it on the fingers, the way that they fold, the claws are painted, which, I mean, this, you got proper claws, what more do you want? Unlike the uh, Giganotosaurus, as I mentioned the other, um, time. You got, like, the scales on his eye, which I literally have to go, like, like this to, because, goddamn, I don't have the right chair for this, but, I mean, like, it may not be good for, like, you know, playability, because, like, I mean, let's just, um, Let's just get my biggest toy apart from this, I think, except for the middle source, but he's all the way up there and I don't want to get him down, I'm lazy. I mean, look how tiny it is! Like, it is so small, like, just, oh my god. I felt, like, this is the T-Rex, the best T-Rex we've had so far, apart from the Hammond one, like, the Dominion Rex. It, it, it's bloody tiny, like, it, it doesn't, it, I don't even think it's, like, reaching halfway at the moment, like, I mean, that's just crazy, like, you could literally have this Atrociraptor, like, this is a baby Rex, this thing is just, rawr! like, look at that, like, that is awesome, like, oh, gee, except for, you know, this, this thing is quite heavy, actually, even though it's, like, I think it's fully plastic, except for, like, the tip of the tail, which is, like, usually rubber. Which is a bit of a shame, because I, I know that the original Hammond Rex, it had, um, rubber on the tail, like, 
a lot, most of the tail is rubber, if I'm not mistaken. The only part that's like rubber is the teeth, but it's a harder rubber, I think. But, oh God, that tongue is awesome. Like, this looks exactly like the one in the movie, and it's why I absolutely love it. Because the only other good Atrociraptor that I've seen, which I actually do have, which is right here, is this set with Sonya. And it's, of course, Ghost, because, well, Ghost is the easiest to do, unfortunately, because, well, she's just, well, white. And it's not that it's a bad thing, like, Ghost is awesome, but, like, when it comes to toys, white toys are, u white dinosaurs are usually the easiest to do. I mean, just look at this one and, like, even look at this one in comparison to the, um, other ones, like, the only other decent one is red, but even that has a lot of issues. But, anyway, this is for a future video, but let's just, um, you, now, the most common thing you want to do, like, I don't even know if I'm in camera, like, is half my face being cut off, like, right here? Yes. Like, I'm, I'm gonna move you for a second. You, you, you can have a guest cameo here. Rexy's, um, guest hosting, and I'm gonna have to put it, like, over here, because I feel like I have to go like this, and I don't think it's recommended, because I'm like, ugh, just, uh, stay away. But, let's just compare it. Can we, I think we could fit you, like, can, can we fit you? I, I just hope your paint that I did on you does not get ruined. Okay, he does fit in the mouth, however, and even closes, like, it's a little bit open. Nope, there we go, now it's properly closed, like, god, that's kind of creepy, like, hello? Anyway, oh god, I'm squishing his tail, he's like, <laughs> I don't, I wish I could show you guys, but like, I can literally see it's just his tail and his feet, and they're like, it's like, Help me! Alright, alright, Moros. You're not even the right Moros. Why should I be helping you? God, jeez. Okay, maybe he's a little bit too big. He doesn't have a big enough mouth. But, let's, um, get some things. Like, if we just borrow some Lego characters. Sorry, um, I think I've got Ellie, Claire, and Alan. Uh, uh, like, Lego Velociraptor, maybe? Because I don't know where I put my minis. I think they're somewhere around here, but... We've got some examples, so let's send a uh, blue, the former raptor. Let's send your improvement for some people at least. In hello, hello. I can find the damn clip. I got, I gotta turn him around because, well, this like sort of covering it. Now I can't even see the damn clip thing. How do you? God damn. Okay, uh, ready? Oh God, I missed. I'm, I'm having trouble here, guys. I, I hello? Are you, you, you gonna fall? Ah, <laughs> there we go. So, yep, of course, with, where am I supposed to, move over, ghost, Jesus, share some spotlight with the host here, Jesus, oh my goodness, like, so, yeah, you literally, like, you could just pack all, like, I'm figuring, like, I can just pack all my Lego characters in this guy. Like, if I want to bring all my Lego characters, don't worry. Just, uh, check Ellie inside or, um, Alan with his hat. Oh, oh, go oh, God, I totally missed and I just sent an egg flying somewhere. Oh, it fell on my bed. Okay, anyway, let's try it again. Alan, there you go. Uh, Claire, you want to join him? Sure, there you go. Score! And, uh, the... Owen, I think you even on this wheel bike can fit in. And there we go, they're all dead. But, they're, they're gonna be, uh, relieved of... Oh, come on, seriously, what? There we go. Wait. Owen fell off. Owen! Owen! Oh, there you are. But, there it is, like... That is the Atrociraptor, guys. Like, oh my god. I don't even think I need to explain why this is awesome. It may not be... Oh god, my hair's going messy again. Like, goddamn. But this guy, like, no matter what, like... If I just, um... Hold on, let me um, do this little conclusion properly. Because, I mean, Malcolm, of course. But, like, I mean... Of all the things, like... Of all the Super Colossals for Dominion, if you haven't even gotten them yet. Like, I know this is a very late video in in thinking when thinking about it because like these came out on april 17th so well 
Not for this one. This one came out a little bit late and was a pain in the butt to get, let me tell you. Had to reorder it twice because the shipping just didn't want to send it for some reason. But anyway, we've got the Atrociraptor. If, you, if you're a collector, go buy it because it's awesome. If you're a kid, ask your parents to go buy it. Just only pick one. And if you're picking one, pick this guy because of the Dominion ones, it's the best. But honestly, guys, that's just my opinion. This is possibly the best Atrociraptor we may ever get because unfortunately with smaller Atrociraptor toys, they don't really get the quality in sculpt or like in like awesomeness that these ones is. Like they don't get the quality that the T-Rex does unfortunately. But I mean this one it's awesome and it's like bloody huge. So if you want to give your kids the biggest dinosaur ever, get them the Atrociraptor for Dominion. That's just my recommendation. And if you've enjoyed this video guys, I would appreciate the like and I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn that there so, you know, he's looking at you, he's coming for you. But, if you've enjoyed this, um, chaotic, um, unboxing with me, Ian Malcolm, I'd appreciate the like. And if you want to see more unboxings, theory videos, news updates, or even just regular Dress World Evolution 2 stuff, which hopefully we will be getting back into more of that as the future unfolds. But, until next time guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.